Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, today we've got uh, Diecast Masters uh, Cat 390F, um, quite a large excavator in uh, my little country, Northern Ireland, and this would probably be the biggest excavator in the country. I'm not even sure if there is one over here, but similar size anyway. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it has a weight of 92 tons. Um, it's powered by an 18 litre cat uh, C18 at 525 horsepower. So yeah, that's a picture of the real machine. Formidable earth mover. The top of the lovely tin, which I have to say, Diecast Masters produced some of the nicest packaging in the model world. It's like a premium biscuit tin, if you like. <laughs> All metal. We have the model number, item number on the top, which is always good for us geeks to identify them. Inside the box, you have a nice little complimentary uh, brochure. Um, you can uh, see such a shopping list of uh, wish list of uh, uh, Christmas toys for Santa next year. Um, yeah, lots of torture in there. Let's put that away before I get carried away. So anyway, uh, nice firm foam insert. All metal box. Highline series. Diecast Masters. Warning, choking hazard. 14 plus. Uh, let me see. Caterpillar, all rights reserved. Diecast Masters. Uh... Hong Kong made in China so yeah once upon a time we would have knocked uh, Chinese quality but uh, not no more they make some awesome stuff particularly on the model front yeah very firm foam just get you guys back a little bit and you see the struggle <laughs> very firm packaging Indeed. And there we go. Quite a large uh, excavator. Let's see. Little plastic holders. And there we go. I'll just get rid of the box here. Bear with me, I'll keep that uh, catalog out. So yeah, there we go. Lovely heavy metal, metal, um, metal tracks, free rolling, sprung idler, good tension, um, sprocket detail. No rolling bottom rollers, but uh, not bad detail. Some good decals on the side. And, oh boy, there's Bob the Builder uh, driving. Not too often you get the driver detail. That's a nice little change. Uh, I assume the door opens going by the uh, rubber band over the cab, keeping it shut. Uh, we have some nice cab safety detail. Although sadly, sadly, yes, we have a bit of damage. So I'll have to get the super glue out from for that. It must have got bashed in shipping. Either that or my clumsy hands strike again. But yeah, in the rear, uh, slew motor, hydraulic lines, um, handrails which are plastic, but fine detail. I don't mind plastic handrails as long as they're sharp detail. Uh, let's see, and we do indeed have opening engine detail. And I reckon, I reckon that's a turbo. What do you guys think? Fair play to them for picking out some engine detail. We have a turbo. 
and some rocker covers on that big big C18. You can see the intake uh, pipe coming from the intercooler. So yeah, some lovely detail. And I think the bonnet, yes, the bonnet even has a a holding open hinge stand. So that's a nice little detail. Some filter detail at the end. Some perforated covers would have set it off on the top. Not quite WSI uh, recent Lieber uh, releases standard, but not bad. I probably would have sacrificed sacrificed some uh, some cost of the box uh, to be put into the model, but hey, can't have it every way. Some plastic handrails on the side. Um, and some quite a smart uh, decal on the side almost my bad eyesight almost appeared perforated until I see it shining in the light um, gives good effect probably doesn't pick up on camera but gives quite a good effect of being uh, perforated yeah we have the big cat logo on its ass we have some large uh, walkways on the sides for the operator to do his morning checks. And uh, he doesn't have to climb. He simply opens the, uh, the Wild West uh, bar, bar gate. And he's straight in. Some decals. Back to the handrails. Mirrors. Up the boom. We have some lighting detail, which is okay. Um, we have some nice hose lines. The pins are nicely replicated with the retainers, painted rivets. Uh, they've went to the trouble of painting the end of the uh, rod, which is a nice touch, matching black to the cylinder. So yeah, that's a nice touch. We have the bucket linkage. That beast of a bucket. And all the... Uh, Wear strips are nicely presented, side cutters, and uh, replaceable teeth. We have some little safety warnings on the side of the dipper, which are incredibly small. And the cat uh, power edge logo. So yeah, I think that pretty much, uh, pretty much covers it. Very basic underneath, not much detail, but overall a nice, what I would describe as a very solid, bear with me, very solid model overall. Um, lovely proportions. It's just something about Caterpillar excavators, as I'm sure you'll agree. They just look like they mean business. Nice, stout, strong proportions so yeah we'll uh we'll get the super glue add that little cab light later but uh i just like to bring over a couple of other excavators for a little comparison as i usually do always nice to see how how it sits in the lineup from a size and scale point of view so yeah we have some some other uh, manufacturers in the around the 80 90 100 ton category uh, as you can just see it displays very well stands up to uh, the competition well we have volvo's 950e and uh, we have hitachi's 870 and uh, they display very well together So yeah, just a little comparison. So yeah guys, that just about uh, concludes today's review. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, join in the fun. I enjoy sharing my hobby uh, with you guys in the comments section. Um, tell me what you'd like to see next. Uh, your support allows me to do these videos. Um, Really appreciate the interaction and subscription. 
And if you guys keep coming back for a newsy, I'll keep trying to make the videos. So yeah, hit the subscribe button and uh, see what the next video will be. Could be anything. Uh, engineering, welding, uh, ATVs, diesel engines. Who knows? I don't even know. So yeah, guys, if you want to join in the fun, or if you only like models, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like the next video, don't watch it. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully there will be something come along you will enjoy. So yeah, guys, really appreciate your support. Uh, kissing ass as hard as I can. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Over and out.